overall economy. Join me right now, Republican Congressman from New York and a member of the House Ways and Means Committee, Tom Reed. Good to have you here, Congressman. Great to be what with you. What do you think Trish. about that idea? Do we need to do more on the individual front? Well, I would agree with you. I mean, obviously, we've taken some great steps in regards to the tax cuts for individuals and businesses and the corporate uh, rape. And that's why one of the first things we could do is agree in a bipartisan way to freeze any potential tax increases for individuals five years out. That, I think, is a great step. And I think the speaker just committed to having a vote on that uh, as we speak. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I'd like to see that. I think that there's a, a lot more opportunity that you, you have there. Of course, it means a little bit more discipline on the spending front, right, Congressman? Yeah. I mean, if you're going to, because it's kind of a form of spending, right, believe it or not, allowing people to keep the money that they earn, but you're going to have to be more aggressive when it comes to cutting things elsewhere. I agree, Trish, and that's one of the reasons why I voted against the spending deal and the budget deal, uh, because uh, we have to get the spending under control as we make the investments in growth like we did in tax reform and the tax cuts. That's going to grow the economy, and the solution to our debt crisis, in my humble opinion, is growth through private sector development uh, coupled with spending fiscal responsibility on the public side. That is the winning combination, and that's the second step we didn't, we didn't achieve uh, with this last deal we did under the budget uh, agreement. Well, in my humble opinion, I agree with you on that. Um, I'm with you. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you about trade right now. And, and you know, you're from New York. This is a big uh, problem in, in many upstate and western New York communities because they feel as though they've really lost a lot of their uh, once thriving manufacturing sectors uh, to places like China. Is there an opportunity for a, shall we call it, TPP, Trans Pacific Trade Partnership 2.0? You have the president meeting with Abe. Japan, uh, one of our allies, maybe we can trade with them and therefore put pressure together on China to actually be fair when it comes to the trade agreements? Tricia, that's exactly where I think uh, we need to go. And, and maybe it's not TPP 2.0 or anything like that. What it is is negotiating with allies that want to stand with us, like Japan, like Canada, like Mexico, like the European Union, to say, you know what we want to do is send a message to the boogeyman, the elephant in the room, which is China, to say enough is enough, and we're going to stand together as we go through this new trade policy to make sure that all of our interests are put first and that we enforce the laws of trade, such as those that have been violated routinely by China and others with the unfair practices that they engage in. Are you encouraged by the response we're getting from China thus far? I mean, you've got China basically saying, yeah, okay, maybe we won't require American companies to have to co-ownership <laughs> with a Chinese company if they're going to do business here. I mean, that in and of itself is a pretty big deal, Congressman, because let's not forget American companies. We wound up getting our technology stolen in part because the Chinese had access to it because they owned half the company. Uh, you got it, Trish, and that's why we should give credit to President Trump uh, for taking on this, uh, other than just engaging in rhetoric like so many folks uh, in Washington tried to do. President Trump has put forward tools in the toolbox that are disrupting our trade policy and making sure that the message is sent to China uh, that this is not going to be acceptable anymore. And when you see China uh, talking and opening up its doors the way intellectual property, the joint ownership uh, equation, that is a new message coming out of China that we should respect as a success yeah. on the trade Listen, policy. Listen, it, it's very different. I mean, but that said, Congressman, you and I both know talk is cheap. That's so they why actions are mean the work. Amen. And that's why <laughs> disrupting that policy is what this president's doing, and that's a positive thing in the long run. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you very much, Congressman Tom Reed. We've got a market that's up 219 points right now. The Dow moving higher, up triple digits.